Hi, I'm Russell and this is the BBC Elections 2016. I'm here with Andre and we've got four cameras that we're tracking here. We've got a pedestal, two pedestals, uh, we've got a pan tilt zoom head and we've got a crane that we're tracking. So we're using new software from Vizati called Tracking Hub. So how does Tracking Hub work? So Tracking Hub is really a great product that we've introduced uh, quite recently and it came to replace Viz.io and the, some of the benefits of it is that it allows us to, to uh, have a much quicker and easier setup uh, where we grab all the data from, uh, from the tracking system and, um, and uh, we send it to all our render engines in order to uh, apply it to the virtual world that we create with it. And therefore our virtual cameras move exactly the same way they deform the graphics in the same way reality is getting deformed. Um, and, uh, and with this new system, it's much easier for us to troubleshoot, um, to make modifications, um, and to just get much better information throughout. Tell me a bit about the delays, because when you have any, any tracking system, the process of doing the tracking and, and finding out where the camera is, that creates a delay that we then have to compensate for in within Tracking Hub? Yeah, so with the Tracking Hub we can accommodate and we can use it to uh, match um, the, the delay that the tracking system needs um, to process the data plus the delay that we need to process the graphics and uh, to the rest of the gallery, mm -hmm. uh, really. So, yeah, everything needs to be synchronized together and it is some of the features that we can, we can use within our software in order to put everything uh, coming together, really. So it's a new uh, user interface for the, the, they call it Studio Manager, which is the, the, the user interface that you use to connect your tracking system to, your, to the tracking hub and then to the render engines. That's been improved, right? Yeah, it's great. Now we have much, um, we can visualize it in a much better way. Um, and uh, we can see all the cameras moving around uh, in the studio. So if there's something going wrong, we can easily spot um, uh, what's what's going and uh, and fix it straight away. So yeah, much much better to visualize what's happening. And as far as the protocols that Tracking Hub can take, I mean, it, it's basically any standard protocol that most tracking systems use. Yeah, we can integrate with most of the tracking systems and um, yeah, it's, it's not difficult to implement new ones either. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, we, we have an extensive uh, list at the moment. Um, so the, the major uh, providers uh, of tracking in the market today will, will be integrated with us already. Here on the elections, we also have a series of uh, engines that are used for other purposes. Uh, one engine is used for a map projector, so that Jeremy can see where he's walking, and another for a wall projector, so he can see the battleground on the wall before, behind him. Yeah, we also have um, an engine just to render a holdout mask. So what this does is, when we move the cameras around to the real set, we're actually not keying any green area um, in there. Yeah, the whole system has to be integrated and supported by Viz and we work closely with the BBC design team to get the system looking good and working on air on the night.